the ring is actually it's the union of, of bringing together different moments of history in this corridor of McGill College, right? Knowing that University of McGill is at the other end with the Roderick Gates, founded in 20, 1821. You have the mountain in the back by Olmsted, 1874. Royal Victoria, that we just see the peak of the, the building, 1893. We have the, the Corridor, Miguel College, 1980. Place Marie, 1962. The new ram coming in, in the station, right, right below us, exactly where we are. And this is where it's going to land and stop for the final destination of the whole ram. Pretty big. St. Catherine, just the construction of the, the new streetscape and the Place Oscar uh, Peterson that is in the making. So the ring is floating above all this and it frames it in one piece. So this notion of having something that was singular that you don't have in the, in the whole precinct that no. is a standalone piece was essential. So that's why the stainless steel was a kind of an elected element. And it was also a kind of a, st a structure that is autoportant. I hope it transcends Montreal personality, right? Something unique, something distinctive, something that it's not expected and creates surprise, right? And, and hoping that people will, it's going to become part of the daily life of Montrealer and the tourists and people who work around it. I love city life. I'm, I love urban living, right? I like density, I like urban density, and, and I'm in also interested in beauty, I'm interested in meaning, I'm interested in a, a sense of the places, yes. I'm interested by history, I'm in also interested for the future, and I'm in, in, interested in the now. And I'm interested, interested by many aspects of urban life, right? Theater, music, shows, shopping, right? Working, traveling, tourism, eating, restaurant, food, all that, right? I think it just create a kind of a, a, a magical moment in the city. Hoping. We'll see. We'll see what the future is going to do with it.